Now, this is not the first time I've said those immortal words, I'm going to tell you a story. But if I said it was about a group of unlikely characters traveling together on an epic quest, you'd be mistaken for thinking... But in China there is, yes, you guessed, an equally epic story that is entirely Chinese in origin. It's called A Journey to the West. The Tang Dynasty, which happened from 618 AD and ran for about 300 years, was a sort of renaissance for China, fueled by the riches and exchange from the ancient Silk Road. Set in this golden era, A Journey to the West tells the story of a monk named Xuanzang, dispatched by his emperor to the West to acquire Buddhist scripture. On the road, assisted by the Buddha, he receives help from the handsome and capable monkey king Sun Wukong, the gluttonous, lazy and cheap badger pig, as well as Sha He Shang. This unlikely group encounter various hardships, take many risks and encounter demons. Finally, they make it through and get their hands, trotters and hooves on the real scriptures. Just as in The Lord of the Rings, this quirky crew remain faithful to their quest. Tang Sung keeps everybody on the right moral tracks, just like Frodo. Sun Wukong, the virtuous and brave monkey, bears more than a passing resemblance to the arrogant. Buddha goes Gandalf mode when he reveals his mystical powers, along with the Boromir-like greed of Bajir Pig. Tang Sun's image in the original book is today an archetype for character. He's based on a real person, a high-ranking monk from the Tang Dynasty, who holds the honorary title of the third Buddhist teacher, one of China's three greatest translators of scripture. In 627, he traveled 5,000 miles to India. At that time, it was known as Tianzhu. Nalanda Temple was a very long and treacherous journey, extremely distant from China. And over a period of 17 years, he collected his experiences from visits to 110 countries and studied the literature of 28 of them and put them in a book which became the inspiration for Journey to the West. Wu Cheng An, author of Journey to the West, didn't just mean his story to be a simple one about Buddhism. The Jade Emperor, a character from Taoist mythology, appears alongside the protector goddess Bodhisattva and Taoist god Daoda Tianzun. Think of Jesus and Allah sharing a cream soda. The Western magical world, beginning with the Lord of the Rings, emphasizes family and geography and character narratives. For example, when introducing the elf prince Legolas, he would say that he is the son of Thrandil, the grandson of Eurofear, and the prince of the Woodland Kingdom. There are also Game of Thrones analogies. For example, I said that the Duke of the Winter City, Ed Stark, and the eldest daughter of the Duchess Caitlin, if you have a look at the book or TV series, you will know that I'm talking about Sansa Stark. I know exactly what he In wants. Journey to the West, the situation of introducing characters with this kind of relationship is relatively rare. The main character, Sun Wukong, emerges from a stone. A monkey, a horse, and a pig also appear. But the only character who resembles a person is a man-eating monster who was punished with mortality. Together, these characters form an unlikely team undertaking a journey of self-redemption. As a book written four years ago, Journey to the West is not bound by copyright and therefore has spawned a whole world of incarnations. Not just in China, either. The classic is the 1986 TV series by the same name. <coughs> There are many other versions that predate this. China's neighbors, Japan, have created some fabulous comic artwork based on Journey to the West. Making it a major carrier of culture between the two nations. It's not just Asian filmmakers either who have brought the story to the screen. And an Australian version. not to be confused with Walkabout. There is also supposed to be a Hollywood version of the film known as The Monkey Prince, currently in the works. Of course, back in China, there's a spin-off almost every year, a Chinese odyssey. <laughs> Trouble in Heaven. The Monkey King 2. In fact, apart from the fantastical journey to the West, there's a whole bunch of other Chinese epics to delve into. 
For instance, The Water Margin, The Three Kingdoms, and Dream of a Red Chamber. There's no shortage of great adventures to be had in this Chinese classic. So remember, just like a great book, to keep it open. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our other platforms. Bye-bye.